What's up, folks? I'm back with another reaction, back with some more recoil. We're going to listen to the next tune on the selected compilation, a two CD uh, release. Uh, also has a second disc, indeed, with a lot of remixes. So we're still going through the, the first album, the selections uh, made by Alan. Although, again, a number of you have pointed out that there are no tunes from the first couple recoil releases, uh, which is disappointing to a couple of you. I do get that because I know how. It, uh, how it goes when you have an, uh, a band that you like a lot and then they do like a greatest hits or a sort of a compilation and then some tunes that you really like are left off. It's like, wait a minute, this one's not better. You know, uh, a few of these on here are not as good as some of the other tunes I know, so I do get that. Um, but, you know, it just seemed like a good place to start, though my plan is once I go through all of this to branch out and react to other recoil because I'm very much enjoying it and, you know, there's probably been no musical act uh, or project that I've reacted to which has surprised me as much as Recoil from, you know, the sonics and the combination of different sort of musical elements to the um, really engaging vocals. I'm thinking of Jezebel as well as the like crazy lyrics. I'm thinking of Want. Um, so yeah, it's been a remarkable journey already and, you know, there's still more than half of it to go. So um, yeah, very much looking forward to the next tune, which is Red River Cargo. Um, so I'm intrigued by the title. Um, there's a few Red Rivers. There's many around the world. I think the most famous Red River is probably the one that spans um, China and goes into, uh, I think it's Vietnam. Um, there are also a couple in North America, one that goes up into Canada from the United States and then one that is solely in the southern part of the United States. I think it's like Texas and Mississippi and so on. Um, if I had to guess, I'd maybe place it um, in the Asian Red River and, you know, Red River Cargo. You know, perhaps there could be like lyrics or at least sort of, um, you know, sonic representations of economic and or geopolitical events in, you know, East Asia. Not sure. Um, it could just be a phrase, you know, any sort of uh, river and it's just given a sort of um, alliterative and memorable uh, title. Um, and then again, cargo, you know, cargo can be a lot of different things and obviously the sort of meaning or the the subtext of the song would be very different depending on what type of cargo you're talking about. So it's hard to speculate without knowing more. Um, again, uh, perhaps my brain is going to like, you know, geopolitical and economic history in East Asia, like maybe, um, you know, maybe sort of like uh, a sort of um, exposition of like colonial history perhaps. Uh, but ultimately, um, you know, that's sort of a stab in the dark and it probably has nothing to do with it. So. Um, and indeed, I remember thinking about want, it's like, well, you know, it's the absence of something and, you know, it relates to desire. Yeah, sure, okay, some of the things that I said before that song um, were technically relevant, uh, but I really had no idea for what I was about to get into. So I'm guessing this might be something similar, uh, but with no further ado, let's get to it. This is Recoil, Red River Cargo, heard here as part of the double CD selected. Okay. A nighttime. Your face. That ain't good. You don't want him seeing your face. Oh, it don't make no difference no more. Cinematic, dangerous, and violent right out of the gate. He was made in some drive in 19 I had a hang trip against him by inspiration. Dark. so far that have had this kind of like pretty atmospheric hip-hop sort of feel. Take 
she was flying on top of the track and got those deep bass rhythms. Have a sweeping string pad. Again, very cinematic, that layer. section where it really went into a sort of gospel feel um, you know obviously gospel and sort of old school rhythm and blues they're two different things but you know I think they are in some ways you know running in parallel directions at least in regard to some elements um, and I had a feeling at the end there that like I want to listen to Jezebel right after this um, so yeah bottom line I love again the synthesis of different elements I love the sort of industrial distorted hip-hop feel for parts of it I love her voice which again like there were moments where it felt very operatic and cinematic there were other moments especially at the end where it went into a more soulful or like spiritual um, sort of um, like joyful music if you will sort of vibe um, but yeah bottom line uh, whether it's the gospel section at the end or the um, the material before that it's just a remarkable song and again like the there were multiple times where the elements were already engaging and then there'd be in a sort of like an interlude with a bit of a like echoed sound and then it would hit back into those hip-hop sections 
Um, and there were a couple times it did that where it just really like it hit the spot like perfectly. Um, so yeah, it's not just the elements, but the composition and the structure. Um, brilliant. So once again, it's another top track. I don't think there's been a single one where I was like, yeah, that was okay. I mean, they've honestly all been sort of top level. Um, very much enjoying this. Um, you know, I, every time it's like I don't even know what to expect, and I still get surprised. Um, but yeah, next time we'll be listening to Supreme. Uh, interested by that single word title? Obviously, it's a superlative. It's like you know the absolute most of something, or the top of something, or the um, the standard bearer for some type of phenomenon or uh, position. So um, we'll think about it more when we get there. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of Red River Cargo. My mind is just blown away again. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Recoil and shout out to all of you who uh, suggested checking out Alan Wilder's uh, solo project. Um, and it's been more than worth it and there's still so much more to go. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Other than that, I will see you next time. Peace.